so here's the deal we are back to the future once again second straight night we're doing this I I played a little bit off the stream last night and found out that there we go I was stuck because uh, the old version of Doc Brown was just going back and forth. What I had to do apparently was um, take out the tape recorder and record his muttering and then take it to the actual Doc Brown who's here. So um, recap for those of you who might not have been here, um, we're doing Back to the Future. Doc Brown was arrested because he, for some reason, exploded a, um, what's it called, a speakeasy. So now I'm trying to get the younger version of Doc Brown to, like, build a rocket-powered, uh, drill, I guess. Something like that. I want to get Einstein. Oh. <clears throat> Where are they at? Like in here, Emmett might be in there, but I should head over to the soup kitchen and call the Browns to make sure. Kitchen. Okay, I could I couldn't remember what. Like I did that off camera, and like right after I just like went to sleep. So shark, flop house. What is a flop house? Oh man, I totally want to get my shoes shine. What the heck? Uh some of the. Like, alterations in, like, camera angle are really jarring. Okay. Back here again. Is he... Is that him again? McFly! Biff? Kid, Grandpa? Haven't I already seen That's this? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing um, around subpoenas like yeah, Babe Ruth. Him. I don't okay, think Ruth's it. a pitcher okay. anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number Sports creature, reference. I'd be in Wall. a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, uh -oh. would you? Because getting set up the river was a thing back then. Would you? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Of course you know. not, kid. Yeah. All right. That's better. Of course better. not, kid. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. Mm. You do that. And McFly? Yes? And that McFly. hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Uh, now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. Yeah. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. One of you hey. mooks. Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Okay. Okay, so I need to call the Browns once again. No, no, call, use the call. Brown residents. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I can find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties. At Wait, the oh, is this taking me back? Oh man. Oh. Courthouse. Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Oh, well, at least you'll get to see me do it now. So hopefully I didn't spoil too much. That's why that scene happened again. Makes a lot of sense now. Okay, let's do it. Do do do. Do do do. Boom boom boom. That's just some intense music. Okay, go ahead, cross the street, bro. 
Oh no. Do 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 do. Ah. Einstein, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Get just go. Do 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 do. Oh no. Don't touch those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Yeah. I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown. Blah 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 blah. Yeah yeah. Judge Brown. Doc. Uh. Nice to meet you. I'm no doctor. I'm Michael. Uh. Corleone. Michael Corleone, wow. I forgot about that. But I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. Of course you I are. I have important business to transact. Yep, I bet. Okay, so let me let me go ahead and take this thing out right now. What's that? Oh, just am I supposed to like find out what he? I'm gonna be a little upset because that's oh I have to fucking Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. Uh, I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. You get in the way of friends. Uh uh Rocket Drill. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? What? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm yeah. in law. I have Oof. absolutely no interest in science. Yeah, you said that. Come back. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal mm. matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... Oh, I mean, my. before Judge Brown can even think uh -oh. of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? Mm -mm. That's how important it is. Of course. Don't worry, I'm a scientist. See, I'm too. sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which of is course. law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast yeah. storehouse of scientific knowledge. I don't have a vast storehouse uh, of scientific The leg knowledge. bones connected to the... Such a Amazing! Stupid. Wow! Tell okay, me about your rocket. You don't drill. want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets, but I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science you know. project of yours. The I am not a scientist. You can tell Go me. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? Hmm. I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, oh, wrong. I don't know. Like... Oh, crud. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, there's a UFC fight on, and... One of my favorite fighters, it sounds like, just got a crazy knockout victory. Frankie Edgar. I'm a big fan of his. It's not gonna show it. That's cool. Left hook. Cool. Good for him. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead. I know he's. I know. Hey, just give me a chance. No, Harassment's please. A federal stop. crime, Mr. Corleone. Yes. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for, in more ways than one. What are oh, you I... talking about? I'm talking about you and science. science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can do that. So what am I? What do I? Okay. No, take. Use item. Whoa, no. Boom. Use item on you. Use. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, not? Mr. Corleone. Why? Uh. So Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the right, office till nine. The conversation. Nine at night, but today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before ten. Ha! <laughs> that is a Come goofy on, Doc. smile. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the legal eagle. Act. Legal eagle. Legal eagle. Legal eagle. Legal eagle. Legal Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society Mr. together. Mr. Corleone. And the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that. Every morning. Oh, 
I'm not quitting early. I'll knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer uh, or soda. What do you say? Oh, because you Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary with beverages. Sugary beverages. Getting the wheels of justice turning. That's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. I'm about to kill you. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Oh, there's Einstein father. in the background. Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Oh, uh, well. And okay. Uh, about your... say it. I was about to. Okay, so... Use the item, please. Use... Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A is. multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied there by the inverse is. of A. I -O. I -O. God. He's so doofy looking there. Oh my goodness. And his head is way out of proportion from what I assume is normal in, you know, our good friend Mr. Corleone here. His head is like twice the size. Gonna see the real doctor. Uh, Mary Vlogmas, by the way. Um, this is my. This is essentially like my Vlogmas video for today. Here. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Does this ring a bell? Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. And your head is a more I normal size, I feel like. To get. Yeah. Now. But what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H oh, so the no, I can I can't tell him the science. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Yeah, how can you be so sure, bro? Let's just move along. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Oh my god. Uh... Uh, I... <laughs> I'm from the planet Vulcan. <laughs> I kind of want to say Well, that. it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. You're from the what? Future. You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I oh, sent the paperwork, no. but I oh, never expected thinks... this. Okay. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. Wow, I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. He's like... Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Kid Tannen. Is it vitally Poss. important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Why is is it vitally Kids? important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes. Kid Tannen. Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Deal. Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena my grandpa. Oh, oh boy. boy. It's Kid Tannen. Hey, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. 
I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Uh-oh. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Am I gonna go talk to him then? Oh, hey, what's up, lady? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper oh. business say. Oh, yeah? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If yeah, it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the, the charitable a institutions a that depend on me for soup deliveries. Yeah. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. Uh. As if Jeez, their stories aren't happens. always Glorifying glorifying the arsonist. criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so huh. untidy. Of course I never would. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good hot cause. Soup. Healthy bodies, healthy hot souls, dog. or so one hopes. Da, 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 I pick up da, da, barrels da. of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Hither Orphanage, and the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted ever Children, said that. Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest and Home. Lither. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. Fitter. It's a very big job. I can, I help. can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, oh. um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. Huh. The Italians do so <laughs> many good works. How do you know that they were If coming? you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Oh, I totally will. What's the Stay Sober Society? I can't... You I haven't heard of the SSS? Over. They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless, drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless, drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. But for some reason, the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? Can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. I'm sorry about huh. the way Einstein lit into what you weird... back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. You know exactly what's got yeah, into him. I found but... someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Twice. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? I don't know if I want to say Never anything. Never mind, I'm wrong. The pool hall isn't a charity. Certainly not. I got okay. a book. Okay, oh? okay. Where? Oh? Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna talk to. Ah! What the hell, matches? You, you got kiwi all over my socks! Kiwi, I Sorry, boss. Have... Get out of here! How about you? Huh? This guy's I'm sitting like at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which what is the it? How? Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh,. Sort of a relative. <laughs> well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you're Mr. Spot. Wow, this guy's uh 
Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's mm. at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. <laughs> Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's... Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Okay. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go oh, ahead. Nice Knock of yourself you. out. Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey. Oh, no. What'd you do? Uh oh, this is intense. Here we go. Oh no. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Emmett. Uh oh. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Emmett. Freaking trolley. Some monkey out of Kid Tannen. Oh, oh, I just made a big monkey hey. out of Kid Tannen. What? What? Ow! Fix me up! Dude, we're in the law office. Oh, snap. We are quick. You learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. I'm Get sure out. they did. Okay, so what do I do with that now? Uh Okay, let's go let's go talk to Emmett maybe? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Oh, there's always sending me out to mm. do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds the of silly people. subpoenas. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new How curse words. How dare you have to do work? If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Just say What's no, What's the worst kids? thing that can happen to me on this job? Just say no. You could get shot. Yeah, well, believe me, that's <laughs> yeah. nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. <laughs> Any idea where we can find Artie? <laughs> Not a jot. Oh, Only boy. We had a way of this is quality him. stuff I'm giving you guys here. Quality stuff. Why is why a racket? We'll Let's get that go. subpoena delivered. My name isn't Michael Corleone. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Cor yeah, that's totally my name. Oh. Oh, my name. Oh, what's up, lady? What is up, lady? Come back. Come back. Wait. Oh. Man. See back here again, maybe. Maybe try to go in. He's just back there eating soup again. What? What? Reserved for charity. What? A cue ball. This guy. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Oh, right. oh yeah. special. special. Very, very nonchalant with that. Of course, yes. Hey, what are you doing? I'm what, splicing what, up the what, soup. What are you it's doing? my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. Yes, the are. boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. Mind your all right, all right. Post. Just try the soup. Cabbage well, soup. That sounds uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Why? Now am I gonna try to excuse talk to me? Him? You talking to me? Well, yeah. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? 
<clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so then well why, to do. Then why did no I have other that purposes option, whatsoever. Mr. Q-Ball? Right. Yeah. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Hmm. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community yeah. figure after his fine name was besmirched by besmirched. the malignant That's and malicious malicious the actions of the <laughs> misguided vandals that that, that don't burn down his place of business. I think you mean I cannot Maleficent. confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the the just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. I don't have any soup. Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? That was really quick. Like, too quick. Ugh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scroll a ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and yeah. spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. Oh boy. What do you think I should do to perk this slop when up? Was, was Let's cooler. see. Have you tried? Parsley? It might help to, uh... Compliment the mellow flavor of the cabbage. Yeah, you know. Compliment the mellow. What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. We might be on to um, something, kid. Would I Let me not see what be I got. something? Yeah, you grab that parsley, baby. Yeah. Get that in there. I don't think parsley was the right one. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Whoa. Ahem. <clears throat> Am I not able to okay. get this attention? Okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Huddle? Just listen up for a second. You played football, I thought. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, hooch. Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but yeah. which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment <laughs> on their barrels. No, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. You think it'll be what? that easy? Ask him if yeah. any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be a used. Modicum of subtlety. subtlety. Right. He still knows score a lot of words. Score that hooch somehow. I'll keep I'm cogitating. gonna score that hooch somehow, baby. I'm gonna score that hooch. Uh, uh. How? There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Okay. Do I have something that can help? No, I don't. Maybe the hat? I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. Well, you never know. Did he... okay. Okay. This hat belongs to my grandfather. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Okay. I I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Salt? Salt? What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. 
No accounting for taste these days. What? That's the same jar. Hmm. Spice rack. Can I just like nice rack? Yeah, nice. we got all kinds of the uh, culinary enhancements back there. I'm not sure what I'm. You can't get in the kitchen, but you would still cause the objects in it to be moved. Well, yeah. I'd hope if you could keep the kitchen door propped open. If you can't keep the door open, maybe a friend could help. I like. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, huh? no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Come up with something quicker. Okay. I assume that's how I distract him, right? <laughs> of course, it's not gonna stay open. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Of course. So am I just like hanging out here for time being? Martin, let's the egg. Hey, Can I have a bowl of regular soup? Eureka! Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. Yes. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch Wait, somehow. Over. I'll keep cogitating. Okay, so... I should probably distract him some more, right? <clears throat> what is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. And I assume this is how I'm supposed to get in, right? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. What the? Emmett. Yes? Obviously this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. <sighs> Indeed. Right. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain yeah. the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I'm still trying to... Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Let's 
squarely on top of the lift. What if it were to be moved? Get Cube all the spices soup. He'll move the baker's rack. Yeah, that's what I was just freaking doing. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Okay. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Yeah, get the frick over there, baby. Now what am I supposed to do? Like, what? What am I... Oh, do I tap the pipe? <clears throat> oh. Oh, snap, doodle. Ah, Miss Strickland. Oh. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Oh. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown slowly, show surely. of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all we have to do is to get it from her somehow. <laughs> uh Okay, it's okay. Edna picked up the booze, he rolled onto the table. Maybe you should go outside and see if you can get that hooch. Whoa, crazy. Get out of here. Yo, Edna, let me deliver that soup, girl. Oh, wait, maybe I should... Get her to take it somewhere. Hey! Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Is it? You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit from my soup cycle? Uh. The... The Stay Sober Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society. But I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. Oh, oh, I see. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can yeah. meet. Oh, where? The Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Of course. Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett. And he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Oh, Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And, and the also... offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Is it? You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Yeah, this, Does somebody your, need your a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but... A pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type! So get your dad a pair of earplugs. I can't tell my father to wear earplugs. They'll be quiet. <laughs> They'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. <laughs> you hear that? Tambourine? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. How is it impossible? But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Oh, my goodness. I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. 
The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Oh boy. Uh, oh. Edna okay. Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to mm. meet you. The feeling is mutual. Oh, that's sweet. I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't you all. worry too much, Emmett. Yes, you do. Now all we got to do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my yeah. patent. Yeah, yeah your uh, patent. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was an eventful episode. I'm sorry. Uh, did my best. Um, but the weekend's here. Um, I think after my show's... After my show tomorrow... And possibly Sunday as well. Um, I will... Uh, start... Oh, uh, excuse me. I'll start streaming other things. Um, I may even show you guys some of my Fallout. And, uh... Not start a new game, but... You know, show you some of what I've got going on and... Um, play some Battlefront as well, and got all kinds of fun stuff that we can do together. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, have a good night. Peace off.